Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Cooking Websites, where I share the web design tools that I use all the time to build websites. In this episode, we'll be focusing on Figma and the tools that are available for it. Why Figma? Well, first, it's free, and I like that it has a browser option so I can use it on multiple devices and not feel like when I had to create a new Word file in uni after every change, remember all the draft one, draft two, done one, really done, finished, finished one and two. I'm over that time. And actually, when I started learning how to build websites, I used Sketch exclusively, but then I didn't have access to a MacBook for a while, so I had to find an alternative and I just never looked back. Sketch is available only on Mac. If you don't use Figma, I'd suggest giving it a try because you've got nothing to lose here. Let's start with Musho AI, which will create a full landing page from a prompt. This is the plugin. And once it's installed, you simply write a prompt and wait for it to do its magic. In the free version, you can also create social media posts and there are more options in the pro version. Let's write a design a page a to shop and or right let's see this is a kind of catchy title why not fully catchy <laughs> okay i'm not gonna share my results before i see them let's see what it came up with ink emporium craft your identity there is definitely red Custom, that looks a little strange. Meet our artist. They don't have any pictures in there. But okay, this is a whole page. The good thing about this is that it's all in Figma now. That means you can adjust it here in Figma as well. Add to it, remove, uh, just go crazy. Um, for example, here you would probably change it to a different logo. Um, uh, you know, change the pictures, the, the add pictures of the tattoo artists, but maybe change the colors. I actually asked for like a bad training, uh, course website before. Um, and it, I, I think it turned out better. So again, like with every AI tool, you just have to talk to it, you have to adjust it, and that's just how it is with, with AI. But again, I think that's a nice base, or if you need inspiration for your designs, uh, I know that sometimes when an idea doesn't come to mind, you know, as, as you would look at strangers' work, you can ask AI, and uh, maybe that will get your creative juices flowing. But on that note, let me show you the next plugin, which is called Contrast. Let's open it up. So this is a contrast checker, which um, from as many websites as I've made, I know for certain that I cannot trust my eyes. Uh, that do not have any, um, I don't have any visual impairments. I see, I need glasses, but I, that doesn't really affect how I see colors. Um, so we need something to check if our content is actually legible. And I have a feeling that some of this might not be. Let's check. For example, you select uh, text and then you see if it's fine. I guess this one's actually okay. Almost. What does it fail? It fails a little bit. It fails a little bit. Oh, let's see. Now that we scan, it already shows that this is failing, but I could have guessed that with the, the red and the white. It's not even that easy to read for me. Um, so this is something we would change. We could go in with like a I mean, bright red is not going to be. How dark can we go? Let's maybe check now. Oh, 
okay, it's better. <laughs> it's better. Uh, so it go through your designs and uh, I mean, the difference is pretty big. Let's, I'm just curious. This is a total fail. Yeah, the CTA is a fail. So again, we would just adjust the colors accordingly. And again, it's so easy that it's all in Figma and I don't have to go to any other contrast checker, copy the color codes. It's just all here. Okay, my next tool is gonna be a really quick one. It's just a background remover. Um, we use background removers all the time and there's a bazillion of them out there on the internet. But again, you have to download the image, upload the image, download the image, import it. And it just, it's its not that much work, but it's, it's so nice when you can do it all in one spot. So let's say I am, uh, I need this image and I need to add it somewhere and I don't need that background. I go to uh -huh. and, and my background is removed. Now I can use it wherever and I didn't even have to leave Figma once. Oh, and I didn't show you what tool it is. <laughs> It is the Icons 8 background remover. Okay, and the next tool I just had to show you because it's just so cool and so, so helpful when you're using illustrations like this. It's called Blush. And what it does is it lets you customize the illustrations. Um, let me show you. Let's open up Blush. Okay, you can choose between all these collections based on what you need, their collections, categories. Um, so let's say we had that pet uh, training uh, landing page. Let's choose animals. Um, okay, this is, this is literally me. My cat is trying to get out of the room now. I am him, but He's a man, that was a cat, not a dog. So we can adjust the scene. So let's say lighter carpets, <laughs> video streaming, or like windows open. You can choose a tabletop and we can change it to a cat. And then the person in the chair, uh, we can make it uh, like me, like you haven't seen sun in years. And just adjust the clothing. Okay, we can adjust the hair. Um, maybe let's get rid of the beard. <laughs> and you can just customize it to your liking. The colors you can change only in the pro version. This is what you can do. And then just create the PNG and it's right here. Here's our, our pretty uh, customized scene. And yeah, you can obviously go crazy with this one. Um, I just love the fact that you can get more... I I always love the fact that you can get more customization with, uh, with these types of illustrations if you don't make them yourself. Because usually you can, you know, um, adjust the color at most. And if you have some skills in this area you can adjust more but if you don't then you're kind of left with whatever the artist created so yeah you can change it depends what you can change for each illustration but yeah this is uh this is blush and that's it for this episode of cooking websites i hope you give figma and its many great plugins a try like this video and subscribe to not miss the next episode. See you there.